feeling of spring starts early here in the house. I start in February or March to make small plants for the kitchen garden. I recycle the milk bottle and this makeup cleaner spray to gently watering the tiny plants. It's such a wonderful feeling to see them come up. I'm amazed about it every year and I'm even more excited about it than my daughter. And if not spring is all about cutting and cleaning and cutting and cleaning. And I just wanted to take a minute to talk about the dead leaves. It's such an easy and important eco-friendly tip that I once heard about in the radio in Denmark. To leave all the dead leaves during autumn and winter because it creates a home for small animals and insects. But let's get to the DIYs. I may even start in late winter. When I made this one, it was actually all white outside of snow. It's made of just seashells, driftwood and of course the two fishes that I made some years ago. And I changed the color last summer. I already mentioned the magic dot several times and you may find the recipe in my Christmas video. And in that video I forgot to mention that the sculpture of magic dove can last a very long time. I have some stars that are 4 years old and still look like new. Remembering this supermarket seashell garland? Well, I had it for 3 years now and want to change a bit. I decided to keep the shell since they already had a hole and I just added some strings and will probably hang them on a hook on my wood shutter on the terrace this summer. The bamboo circle I will use for the next DIY which is so simple but I really like it. You have seen this box with all my leftover ribbons many times and now I would like to empty it a bit and use them. I just clipped them together to make it a really quickly DIY, sitting here after sunset. And this is how it ended looking like. I love how they gently and silently move in the wind. My Christmas sign next to my front door, I did some painting on the other side for the rest of the year. I love when things have a double function. It says welcome and I draw two easy mountains, which is actually two mountains known here in my region, because they stand there all close together. Their name is Lidong Dosh, which means the teeth of the mountain monster. It's an old word from ancient stories about these kind of troll living in the mountains. I also had these pieces of wood that I never really knew what to do with, but then I decided to make a kind of crossroad signboard, and I wrote the direction of the small beautiful villages around us. They are all next to the lake, and Ivoire has a reward for being one of the most beautiful villages of France. Most of the houses are from the 17th century. And yes, Evian is not only a bottle of water, but first of all the name of a city which is lucky to have a source coming down from the French Alps. And now some garden DIYs. I needed a little structure for my rose bush because it's a climbing rose. So I used some of these leftover sticks. And we just got our first rose. I love to pick things up that people place next to the trash can. And can you imagine I found this huge roll of reed completely as new. I wanted to close off an area on the terrace since a while, so I cut the roll in half 
and keep one side for later use and then fixed the other roll up here. I used some shoe laces I have from an old pair of tennis shoes. They are thick and strong and also black so you hardly see them up there on the beam. And I also transformed this little bird feeder I once made but never really used so I will very quickly turn it into an insect house. And spring is of course also about taking away the winter decor and putting up the summer decor. I don't like to buy new things, but I had to have this rainbow from IKEA. I also use our hats for decorating and at the same time they are easy to grab when you need them. And I could finally place the fishes I made this winter out of leftover tissue. But just when everything was coming to life again, something very sad happened. We lost our dear neighbor. You have overlooked her garden in many of my videos and we came along very well. We were very much alike. Both ecologists and loving to do small creations, DIYs. We both loved to pick up things in nature and use it as home decor, and we often talked over the finch and shared our ideas. It was her who told me about the eco-friendly tip about throwing all the stones and courses from fruits in the nature. I talked about it in my video about how I recycle nature. She had buckets full of them and I asked her one day what on earth she was doing with them. As you know, I immediately took this simple and beautiful idea to me. I asked permission from the family to go and film her garden and her creations. This was for me to always remember how it was, but maybe it could inspire you too.
If I should describe her in three words, she was generous, kind and funny. But I believe that we have a soul that is continuing to live. And I'm sure she was floating over the garden the first days, before she really settled in the garden of heaven. But I have promised her in my heart that I will continue to love and take care of this house and garden as long as I live here. We will miss you so much. May you rest in peace.